So yes, he used the whisker, but in my mind, what would you call it? <laughs> Good morning, box. How are you today? Good. I'm glad to hear that. I hope you're doing well. If not, I'm sorry to hear that, but I hope this vlog cheers you up. I'm on my way to work today, and I've got a special guest with me, namely a bee who refuses to leave. He's in the back right now, buzzing around somewhere. Um, and I wrote, oh, now we got, let's go. Bee's still back there. Um, got my windows rolled down, hopefully it flies away. If not, it'll just bake in my car. It occurs to me I probably should answer this question. I was uh, reading through the comments, and Amanda Finley asked yesterday, in yesterday's video, because Ken mentioned that Apollo had eaten Rosalind's poop, and she said, how did he get to her poop? And also, did you call the vet to make sure he's okay? Because we didn't really clarify that. And so for those of you who are concerned about Apollo, he is no longer having diarrhea. But let me show you, I'm not gonna show you poop, don't worry. But let me show you how he got access to it because he's done this a couple of times. Not often, but a couple of times. Rosalind had a potty accident, or started to have a potty accident, and then ran over to this potty, which is where she usually goes potty. She's not 100% potty trained. Sometimes she'll go in the big potty, but she hasn't gone in there since she saw me give birth on it. So, she's a little traumatized. Anyway, she ran in here to finish her, her potty situation in the potty here. And while she was, after she finished up, hello Rosalind, I helped her get dressed in here. And in the amount of time it took me to get her dressed, he ran in here and ate it straight out of there. So we don't just have poop hanging out in our house in case you guys were curious. Um, and he's doing much better now. He hasn't had any problems since last night. So I think it's just gone through his system. But it was really gross. Anyways, good morning box. I hope that you guys are having a good day. Um, we are spending the day, I don't know what we're going to do today. I did not get my blood work done yesterday, which I would like to do. Irene here has turned one month old today, which is very exciting. She's nursing less today than she did yesterday, so I'm wondering if the growth spurt is over or if she's just getting her sleep in and she's going to nurse the rest of the day. Um, but she's one month old today, which is crazy. One month ago, I was... Oh, sweetie. One month ago right now, I was about to be transferred to the hospital in the ambulance, which is just crazy. So, good morning, Roslyn. Can you say hello to the box? Hi. Who's on your dress? Well, uh, to find me. You're going to go find Minnie? We are on our way to get my blood drawn for uh, the milk donor milk bank. Um, so Rosalind wanted to stop and get something to eat, so we did that. And I have the address, but I don't know what suite it's in. So we're gonna see if we can find the place that's gonna draw the blood. Vlogging when I'm on the route with both of them is really hard, but at least in an elevator, we're all in one contained location. Um, so we're going to go get my blood drawn. They gave me the sheet so that they won't charge me for it. But that way they can be like, yes, you're allowed to donate. So don't push that button, sweetie. Just pushing the alarm. You like the water machine? Every time I drink out of one of these, I think I'm drinking out of like a birthday hat. You can go run down the hallway. You are not allowed to have cameras. Well, you're getting your blood drawn, but I just got it drawn. Whoop! Roslyn's running away from me. Hey, Roslyn, can you stay close to mommy, please? Mommy, please. You're gonna wait for me. Thank you. And Irene is nursing. And apparently, you can't tell. The girl who, who drew my blood actually knew my lactation consultant, which was really cool. She's like, "Is she nursing?" I was like, "Yeah, that's actually why I'm drawing my blood. I'm gonna donate milk." And she's like. Oh, my friend will be so excited about that. She's a lactation consultant. And I was like, who is she? And she told me her name. And I was like, that's my lactation consultant. So that was really cool. Will you push the button? Good job. Okay, push this one. Nope, this one. This one. Good job. You're such a good helper, Roslyn. So I am off work. I just swung by Home Depot and got little feet for the table because it's off balance. So 
They only had one size, so I'm hoping that uh, it fits. Uh, my throat is a little bit raspy, as I'm sure you can tell, and my cough has not completely gone away, but it's mostly gone away. I've just got some kind of mucus here and there, but it's much better. I didn't have to take any medicine today. Uh, that's not true. I took some Advil for my, my neck that's all cramped up. I have been in constant pain for my neck, but it's, it's, it's fine. I've gotten used to it. It's dulled down. It's a low roar right now, and it's, it's, it's mostly gone now. I just can't twist my... Oh! I just can't twist my neck very much like that, otherwise it, it seizes up a little bit. We're out of milk, so I'm here to get milk and raisins. And flour! Waffles! Also, this store, every time I come to the store, I'm like, Captain America store. That's obviously who would shop here because of the, the blue and the, the red. And then I think of like, Safeway, a Spider-Man store. I don't really have a name for bashes. I got a little bit more than I should have. So, I was super thirsty and this stuff was on sale. And I was like, oh, well, I've never tried it. And it's a large bottle for like, it's like a dollar. So I was like, hmm, let's give it a shot. What do you guys think? You guys like this? Yes, no, maybe? Kenneth has lovingly made waffles. Beautiful waffles. Beautiful right? waffles. If you remember, there was a whole waffle debacle last night that did not get solved. And um, Oh, yeah, yeah. So the math works out. Turns out, though, I do not have a um, 16th teaspoon or an eighth teaspoon even, so... Or 1.24 or 25 eggs. I couldn't figure that out. The rest though, not gonna happen, so... So we made waffles. <laughs> um, Today we made waffles. Yeah, and Little Cub has rejected anything yes. for dinner because she is watching. What are you watching, Rosalind? <laughs> what is this that you're watching? He spoke candle. He blew out the candle. You are watching our Disney vlog. She's been asking for Rosalind Tiana, and we were like, I don't know what that is. And then she brought Ken to the computer, mm -hmm. brought him to the channel, yep. and pointed to it. Yeah, it was hilarious. It was yes, horrible. it was the uh, day that we found out we were pregnant with you. Which I just realized, I mean I realized, but I hadn't really realized before. We found out we were pregnant with you on Oliver's birthday. From Daily Bumps, if you guys watch them. I'm sure you watch them. Everyone watches Daily Bumps. If you don't, you should. Um, oh, I also was watching another channel today. I was watching Steps to Wander. And to tell you the truth, I have not kept up at all on watching other people's vlogs. Because as you can imagine, life's a little hectic right now. But I was stuck in the chair nursing and it came up in my suggested feed. Ken, did you know that they've moved into a van? I'm sorry, what? Um, Steps to Wander moved into a van. They're going to tour. When you say moved into a van, you mean like, they're, they're like, you know, a road, they didn't like move, move into a van. They no longer have a place of residence other than their van. Okay, yeah, but like. Like their lease is up on their apartment. What's their plan? They are going to be road tripping across North America. Okay. So they're well, going to go up. That's, they're living in motels. They're not living no, in they're, they're sleeping in the van, I think. Well, okay. can you sleep in the van? But no, they're not going to shower in the van or like use rainwater. That's Dory. What's up? That's Dory. That's Dory? Dory is not in this, sweetie. What are you saying? Okay. I don't know what their plan is for showering. I don't know. I literally just saw their video where they said that they were going to be doing this. I'm really excited to watch it though. Um, because I actually, they used to do daily vlogs and I had like caught up on all their daily vlogs when we very first started doing our dailies. And then I was really sad when they stopped doing dailies. What'd you make? I made waffles. Well, we've already discussed the waffles. What's in there? Oh, I made whipped cream. See? Fresh whipped cream. And he whipped it by hand. No, no, no. That's called a hand mixer. By hand is like when you like use the whisk. I have done that. It is a nightmare. Do not do that if you can avoid it. Okay, so yes, he used the whisker, but in my mind... Child, what'd you call it? <laughs> the whisker. <laughs> <laughs> by Mr. Whiskerson. It sounds mm -hmm. like the kitchen tool made by your cat. Uh, the um, automatic mixer thing. But in my mind, this is by hand because I used to make it at Starbucks all the time. I used to work at Starbucks. Um, and we use like um, one of those canister things. Those are way better. They are. Yeah, we don't use whipped cream that much. 
Which, now that I say that out loud, is frankly ridiculous. We should just buy one of those and then have a reason to use them. We already got a waffle maker. <laughs> okay, well, in seven years, when we, <laughs> when we uh, finally get around to buying that. I probably should have whipped this. Uh, it's okay. actually pretty thick. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty thick, impressive actually. for a whisker. Yeah. What's up? What? Oh, did you, did you want some whipped cream? Now there's whipped cream. Whip, whip, whip cream. <laughs> um, you like that? You like it? Well, you don't get any. Oh, come on. Man. I was gonna be like, you don't get any because you eat my waffle. Sorry about that. <laughs> I think she was apologizing because she dropped Daisy. Oh, okay. Not even to poor dad out. You only get whipped cream if you're gonna eat your waffles. You gonna eat your waffles? Eat waffles. Waffles. <laughs> That's better than when she was calling them coffles, and yeah, I didn't know true. what a coffle yeah, was. Waffles. <laughs> what? Oh, you want some now? Some waffles. Okay, come on. Rosalind, do you know what we've been really bad about? Saying bye to box. Will you say bye bye to box? Bye box. Well, we gotta first say thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right. Can you say subscribe down below? And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Will you blow them a kiss? Yeah. All right. Say good. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hug. Oh. Say good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Say. Hmm. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Hey. <laughs>